Hello everyone and welcome back with this new video. The SkyX100 is here, the Starlink for weather on Solana and Peak. For those who follow me, you already know that I released a video five months ago at the beginning of the pre-sale, and in fact, the big batch has started, and I just received this new weather station. In addition to showing you the unboxing of the miner, the only difference between the SkyX100 and SkyX100S is a 5-watt USB-C solar panel that can be bought anywhere. I also want to show you the installation and onboarding with SkyX app. I was really impressed by the quality of the station, and if you are interested in the project, I recommend you order it in these days to not miss the airdrop for doing the beta. So let's begin. As a start, this is the unboxing. The box is compact and an essential. In addition to the SkyX100, there is a USB USB C cable and a bag with screws. The first thing I have to say that really surprised me is the quality of the weather station. The display is nice, the upper part is made of metal, which gives a good feeling of resistance, while the lower part is made of white plastic. So making a comparison with the Nubula, I can tell you that the Sky X is slightly taller and bigger and also weighs more. But the Nubula has the solar panel included, while the Sky X in the standard edition, the panel isn't present. So if you want it, you have to buy the version with the solar panel. Anyway, any 5-watt solar panel with USB-C is also fine. Or you can also use a long USB-C charging cable with a normal phone charger. When charging the station emits a flashing light and becomes solid when 100% charged. Once 100% charged, the Sky X battery lasts approximately 7 days. I am using this setup with a 14 meter cable, and I am not having any problems. I put in the video description the equipment I am using. As for the installation, following the good medium article that I put in the video description, I did the same setup as the Nubula, installing the station on a wooden pole, but with the only difference being that the support isn't included in the SkyX package. And so, I bought a classic camera mount. You can find the link in the video description, which can easily be screwed into the slot on the base of the SkyX. And then I simply drilled, using the screws that come with it, the base of the white support above the wooden pole so that you then install the ski ex without problems. At this point, using classic metal cable ties, you can tie the pole outdoors wherever you want and you're done. To help you with the installation, I've included some Amazon links in the video description that I hope will be helpful. The last step to take is the onboarding of the SkyX100 via SkyX app. Really easy, and I haven't encountered any problems. Remember to install the SkyX100 where there is good Wi-Fi coverage, and, as reported in the Medium article, place the weather station in a safe, secure location to prevent damage. This precautionary warning is I imagine mostly for the battery and display of the station, so to be safe it's better to install the SkyX on a balcony where it is more covered than on the roof, where it is more subject to extreme temperatures or conditions. And if anyone is interested in installing more than one Skix 100, since we are at the beginning, there is currently no restriction to respect on meters of distance or hexagons. In any case, after downloading the SkyX application, link in the video description, follow these steps.
Congratulations, you have finished installing your Sky X100. Check in your app to see if there is an OTA update and do it to keep your Ski IX up to date or even for any bug fixes. And after a while, you can see the first results or weather data. Since we are in beta, the rewards are now in Nova and are 25 points issued every six hours. The main net on Solana and Peak is expected in the Q2 of 2025, and those who have done the beta will get the airdrop in the Sky X token. And currently in beta, there is no decrease in rewards, as increase the number of stations online. That means you can get every 24 hours, if your station is online and operational, 100 Nova points. So if you are interested in the project, I recommend you join as soon as possible to get the maximum now. You can buy the Sky X100 in the official shop of SXYYX, and you can use the coupon 8EYDAYJPR to get a $40 off. The payment is only in crypto, and if you order now, the shipment is expected around mid-February. But if you want to pay with credit card or PayPal, also to check if you can save more, you can buy the weather station in the official resellers. In Particolor for Europe, I advise you fresh miners and you can use the coupon ILCAPOFOX4 to get a 20 euro discount. While for USA or near countries, I advise you Helium Deploy and you can use the coupon ILCAPOFOX for a 10% discount. For worldwide, there is also EasyNav. It has also the Sky 100S and you can use the coupon Ilcapafox SkyX at checkout for 5% discount. If you use my coupons, I thank you very much for supporting the channel. So in conclusion, I'm really confident about the project and I think it can give great satisfaction. SkyX has already completed a $1 million pre-seed funding led by EV3 EOT Ventures and Waterdrip Capital. And the choice of Solana and Peak is very interesting the station is really easy to install and it takes two minutes to onboard via app, which even if we are in beta, so some bugs can happen, I see it at a great point. I hope you enjoyed the video, like, and subscribe to the channel to help me share more content. Thanks, and happy mining everyone.